Right, so hey guys, and um, welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating a very basic file organizer using Python. So to give you guys a quick example of what this program is going to do, let's say we have a folder that we store our files in. Um, I'm just going to show you this folder right here. And we have different files in this folder. So for example, video files, uh, documents, uh, image files, etc, etc. And we want basically all of these files to be organized into folders. Now, obviously, doing that can be quite tedious and long if we have many files. So to solve this problem, we have a program that we're going to be creating in today's tutorial. So in this uh, example right here, I have two video files and I'm going to create a text file as well. Um, and I'm just going to call this hello. And then what we're going to do is basically I'll run the program that I've already made and the one that we're going to make in this tutorial to show you how it works. So if I give this a quick run, uh, just going to select the environment here and then let it do its thing for a second and then i'll run it what you basically see is it has some nice logs so there was two video files and one text file as i showed you and basically what it's saying is it's moved the first file to a videos folder and the second file to a videos folder because they're both mp4 which means they're video files and then it's taken the txt file which is a document and then moved it to the documents folder and then once it's done all of that it's basically saying file organization complete if you now look at the folder that we initially created uh, or had, the two video files and the one text file has disappeared. That's because it's basically taken all the appropriate files by type and then put them in the right folders. So in this folder called videos, the two videos have been placed in there nicely, as we expect. And then this folder called documents, the one text file that we created has been placed nicely. Cool. So that's basically what we're going to be attempting to do in today's tutorial. So I'm just going to move these back out and then delete these folders as well. So let's just wait for that to happen. Um, and then let's go back in here. Cool. So first things first, we're going to need the OS library. If you haven't already uh, got experience using this library, I will link a tutorial to this uh, in the description as well as now so that you guys can have a look at that. And then we're going to use something called uh, Shuttle. Uh, which is basically a library we're going to use when we want to move files around and stuff. Cool. So once you've got your imports done, what we want to do first is define the folder where you want this program to run. So for me, I just want this program to run in my uh, default directory, which is basically going to be uh, in this folder right here. So just to... Okay, that should, that should be fine, I think. Uh, I'm just going to... Just to ensure that, I'm going to drag this into here. Uh, I should bring the folder in. If I'm not wrong, one second. Just put this here. Uh, and then, yeah, that should handle that part. So basically put in the directory that you'd like to, uh, that you'd like organized. And then next, what we're going to do is basically create a dictionary which will contain the different uh, mappings for which file types should go in which folder. So if you haven't worked with dictionaries, I will link a tutorial to that as well over here as well as in the description. So a dictionary is simply a data structure which has key value pairs. So the key, our first key is going to be images. So we're going to say in the image folder, we're going to expect to have these different file types. And since we have many file types for one folder, we're going to use a list as the uh, as the value to this key. So we'll do jpg is going to be one, dot jpeg is going to be another, dot png another, and then dot gif or gif uh, is going to be the last one. Obviously, there might be more uh, images with different file types, so you can add more to these. So if you wanted, uh, I don't know, um, a different type of file type to be put in this folder you just add that to this list and then the program will accommodate to that then we'll do one for documents which is going to contain pdfs uh word files so docs and then txt files as well so any file extensions with pdf docs or txt would be put in this documents folder then we'll do videos um that's just going to be some of the most popular ones mp4 uh mkb and then flb as well it would be audio um mp3 and then dot wave or web however you pronounce that and then we'll do archives so it will also deal with zip files and stuff so dot zip 
dot tar and dot brush pool. And then last but not least, we'll do one for spreadsheets. So any um, data that is stored in the problem spreadsheets will be put in this folder. So XLS, XLSX, and a simple one for CSV. So we need to make sure we're putting dots at the start of each one of these things, because later on we'll be using it to match with the file extension. So if you don't already know what a file extension is, it's basically what defines what type of file you're dealing with. So for example, if we go in my folder here, uh, I'm just going to pop it right here and we look at the videos you have anything after the dot is the file extension so we see that it's a dot mp4 which is a video type then for the um, scripts we have dot ipynv which is a jupyter notebook type so that's just a quick explanation and now that we have our mapping ready for the different types of uh, file extensions to be stored in the different folders let's create one of the first functions so the first function is going to be oh uh I think I have got a syntax error. Archives. Okay, missing a comma here. Oh, not two, just one. Okay. First function is going to be a function that actually creates the folders if they don't already exist. So obviously we're going to need folders uh, for one, two, three, four, five, six of these things, and then those file types are going to be put in those folders. So the first thing we do is check if those folders already exist, and if they don't, we create them. So this function will take in two parameters. We obviously need to know what a base directory is. So we'll put that in as base directory. And then we'll need to know um, about any folders that already exist. So um, what we do is for each folder in the folders that we already have, we'll iterate through them. So for folder in folders, what we're basically going to do is now create a folder path. So we'll create a new variable called folder path and we're going to use os.path.join because basically what we're wanting to do here is take the base directory that we have which is going to be the uh, URL to the folder we're trying to clean up and then append that to the folder name uh, that we're currently dealing with in these folders. Cool. So that's going to be the full path to that folder. Then what we do is we check if that folder, if that path or folder exists. So we'll do if not os.path dot exists folder path. So what this will do is it will check if this folder path already exists or not, which means it's checking if that folder already exists or not. And if it doesn't exist, which is we're checking if it doesn't exist, then we want to create a folder. So we do os dot make dirs, which dirs just stands for directory, which is another word for folders. So we're just going to say we're going to make a folder for this folder path, given that that folder doesn't already exist within the folders that we've already got in our directory. Cool. So this function will basically go through all the existing folders in our current directory. And if obviously we don't have folders for any of these six things, it will go ahead and create them. Now that we have that function complete, we're going to actually code our main function. So our main function is going to uh, deal with organizing these files by file types. So we're going to call this organize files by type. And we're going to need just a few parameters here. So we need the base directory here as well. And then we need the file types that we're dealing with. Cool. So what we're going to do here is for each of the files in our current directory, we're going to uh, get the file path and then we're going to check if the file path is a folder because we are only going to organize files and we're not going to take folders and organize them because they're slightly more complicated. So we'll do for file name in os.listdir uh, base directory. Now let me just give you an example of what os.list directory does and as the base directory we'll just put in the directory for now what it does is it will basically uh, take whatever directory you pass to it uh, in this case it's taken the folder over here and then it will just show you all the different files uh, in the form of a list so you've got the two videos and two script files so we're just going to loop through the file names of each of these uh, files in this directory and then we're going to uh, append the um, the file path to the file name. So we're going to do file path equals os.path.join. 
and then we're going to add the base directory to the file name itself so that we have a complete uh, link to this file. Cool. So then what we're going to do is we're going to check if this file path is actually a folder or not. So we're going to say if os.path is dir, which means if it's a directory or if it's a folder, um, we need to obviously pass the file path that we want to check uh, if it's a folder or not. If it is a folder, we're just going to type in continue. So continue will mean that it will stop executing the lines of code right here and then proceed into the next iteration of the loop. Since we're looping through all the files in here, if it finds out that, let's say, the second item or the second file name is a folder, it will skip the operation uh, under this if statement and then it will go on to the next one. So if it finds out that uh, it is not a folder, which is when we actually need to organize the file, uh, it will basically come to these lines here. So to do this, what we're going to do is let's say we're going to check the file type and then move it to the appropriate folder. So if it is that the file is a valid file and it's not a folder, then we need to get the file type of it, which is the file extension. So the bit after the dot and then figure out according to this extension, which folder we need to place this file in. So to get the extension, first of all, let's create a new variable, call it file extension. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the file name um, that we have. Uh, and we're going to split where we have a, um, we're going to split the file name. So we're going to do os.path.split text, split text. And then we'll do file name in there. Uh, and just to show you guys what this does, uh, place this down here. And as the file name, I'm just going to pass it this one. Uh, split text. Oh, let's talk. Path has no attribute to split text. Oh, I put in an extra T there. Okay, so what this will do is essentially it will split the, the file name uh, from the extension that it has. So what we want to do here is we're always going to want the last element of this uh, of this tuple or list. So in this case, we're just going to do minus one. So minus one means we're going to start at the last uh, index. If we did minus two, then it will give us this one. Uh, in other words, you can also do one if you're, if you're looking at from left. So if you, you can say zero, one, or you can say minus one. So if we do one, for example, we'll just get the file extension, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to use the os.path.split text, which will give us a tuple of two things. And then we want the first element from that tuple. And then we'll make sure that the, that the extension we get is lower case. So we'll use dot lower in there to make sure that it matches properly. Now that we have that, what we're going to have to do is to go through this file types dictionary and to see which folder to place this file in based on the extension. So to do that, we're going to have to loop through that. Um, we're, we're actually going to have to loop through the, the file types mapping that we created. So to loop through that, we're going to do, I'm just going to show you guys what we're going to do here first, then I'll place it in the function. So we'll say for folder, uh, comma, extensions in file, oh, file, types dot items what this will basically do is it's going to iterate through the dictionary that we have for file types and then folder will become the key and extensions will become the value i'll show you right now so if i print folder and then on the next line i print extensions what you see is it's basically iterating through each of these uh, items in the dictionary and the first item is always the key, which is the folder. Second item is always the value of that key, which is the extensions. So we obviously need access to both so that we can know um, which folder to place it in based on the extensions. So now that we know already what our file extension for the current file we're iterating through is, we can simply do a quick check and then place it in the right folder. So we'll place this loop that we just created a second ago in our actual function. We're going to get rid of the print statements because we now know what that does. And what all we're going to say is if the file extension that we're currently iterating through in our folder is in the extensions 
of the current uh, dictionary or of the current extensions that we're dealing with, then we're going to place it in that folder. So if, if it is that the file extension that we're currently looping through is in the images uh, array, then we'll place it in the images folder. And if it is in the other ones, we'll place it in the other folders. Cool. So basically, all we're going to do here is we're going to create a new variable, which is going to be called target folder. And then we're going to uh, create a like a path to the target folder. Because obviously up here, we only have the folder names. We don't have the full path to them. So we need to uh, append the or add the base directory to those folder names. So we'll do os.path.join and then base directory and then add that to the folder name. So that will then become our target folder where we need to place this uh, file that we've just iterated through. Then we just use shuttle. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Dot move to basically move a file path uh, which we defined up here to the current file that we are working on. So file path, we, we move that file path or the file to our target folder to which we just uh, assigned the base directory above uh, a second ago. So once that's all done, we can simply just do a nice little log here, which will say we've moved file name, uh, whatever that file name is, to whatever the folder we've just iterated through. And that's pretty much it. And then uh, what we can do at this point also is we can break through. Because for every file, uh, it should mainly just be, once it's belonged to one folder, it should just break. So for example, if it's found out that this file, right, is an image and it's a JPEG type uh, and it's placed it in images, it doesn't need to then iterate through the rest of the file types because it's already moved it to the right folder. So that's why the break statement. Obviously, you can leave that out and uh, it will still run fine, but it might cause a logical error or, or it will increase the execution time as well. Cool. So now that that's all done in theory, what we're going to do is actually run these functions. So we created two functions here. One was create folders. And this uh, function obviously expects the parameters of the base directory and the folders that we already have in our directory. So our base directory is the directory variable that we started up here. So that's just meaning, uh, means to be that we're dealing with the same folder that our script is in. And then the second uh, argument is just going to be the um, the different folders that we're dealing with in here. So that's just going to be the folders that we have up here, which are going to be uh, uh, types keys. So when you want just the keys of a dictionary, you do dot keys and it will give you just the keys. I'll show you an example down here. So in this case, you just get a list of the different folders that obviously uh, you want to check if they already exist or not. And if they don't, then you want to create them. So obviously we pass this one through here. Now, uh, if you run this function, it, what we'll notice if we go back to this is that it's created all the folders in which it's going to then organize these files into in the next step. So um, if I delete, for example, the videos folder, and then I run this uh, create folders again, what it will do is it will check uh, and it will then figure out, oh, there's no folder for videos, so I need to create that. And that's why it's done that. Now for the main part of the program, obviously, we're going to uh, organize our files. So we'll do organize files by type. And then the first argument for this was set to be the directory. So that's just directory. And then the second argument for this was uh, just the uh, file types that we're going to be dealing with. So what we're going to do for this one is just pass in the file types uh, dictionary. And that should sort that out. Cool. So let's run this. Uh, I forgot to replace the split text, I think. Where did that go? Split text. Yep. Just a single T. And now what you notice is that there was two video files in there, right? And those video files are no longer in the main directory. They've been moved to the videos folder, which is exactly what we needed. So if we look back in here, it says it's moved two files to the videos folder. 
If I run this again, it's obviously not going to do anything because all of our files are now organized. Let's create an Excel file, just to give you an example. And then we'll create a Word file as well. And basically, what, when I run this, what it should do is move the Excel file to spreadsheets and move the Word files to document. Let's see if that actually works. And we have two logs. It says moved new Microsoft Excel worksheet.xlsx to spreadsheets and moved Word document to documents. So let's see if that's actually correct. Uh, get documents and we have the Word file. Perfect. We get spreadsheets and we have the spreadsheet file. Perfect. Cool. That's basically it for today's tutorial, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this uh, basic program that you can use in your day-to-day uh, -day life to sort of automate your workflow. Uh, if you guys have any ideas on tutorial, as always, leave them in the comments. Uh, I appreciate all the support you guys are showing recently. If you guys could subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot as I'm trying to get to 100,000 subs. So um, as always, guys, I shall see your beautiful faces in the next one. Peace.